Hi St Matthews, it is lovely to be with you this morning. If you don't know me, my name is Charlie and I've been a part of St Matthews for almost 14 years now. I am one of four children in the crazy young family, I'm sure you've probably heard us around, and I'm the daughter of Richard, the vicar of the church. So within the past year, I've been journeying with a friend and we've been reading through different Bible passages together, doing a chapter a day, and we are currently reading through the Psalms. I have really loved doing this, and although occasionally it can feel like a bit of a task, it has got me into a really good pattern of reading my Bible, which I think is so important. I have also been trying to pray a lot more, whether it's about something big or just small prayers to say thank you or to ask for help for things. It can be something so simple, such as saying thank you for having food on my plate, or for the sunshine when I'm walking to work at the start of the day, although at the moment it's more praying that we do actually have some sunshine. <laughs> Doing this has helped me to stay positive during the difficult past year, but what has also helped me is some of the passages that I have read. So that brings me on to my first passage for this morning. Psalm 56, verse 3. When I'm afraid, I put my trust in you. This year has affected people in all different ways, and some people have found it harder than others. Some people have lost loved ones. Some people have struggled with their mental health. Some people have fallen ill themselves, and some people have even lost jobs. It's in times like this when it's easy to question why God would pass through this. But for me, I've tried to think of it positively. What might God want me to take away from this past year that I may have needed to learn? For example, not to take loved ones for granted and the time that we spend together, that I'm so blessed to have a stable job and be able to go to work every day, that we are lucky to have access to hospitals, doctors, shops, schools, etc. when we need them, and to be more aware of hygiene and staying safe when out and about. These things are so simple, but things that we have all struggled with the past year. The most important thing is to trust God. He has a plan and there's a reason for this pandemic. And that brings me on to my second passage. Psalm 37, verse 5. God has a reason for allowing things to happen. We may never understand his wisdom. We simply have to trust his will. Like it says, we may never understand it. And that's okay, as long as we trust God and know that he is with you through it all. So, if you are worried, upset or angry about something, pray. Ask God to help you and know that he is with you through it all. And then look back at these passages and use them to help you too. So, just to recap. Psalm 56, verse 3. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. And Psalm 37, verse 5. God has a reason for allowing things to happen. We may never understand his wisdom, but we simply have to trust his will. I hope that this has brought some light to your morning and may have helped some of you. I really hope you have a lovely week and I can't wait to see you all in person soon. Bye.